Okay, we are live. Hi everybody, welcome to this verbaling class today with me. I'm teacher Amy and today's subject is let's talk about empathy. Um, this is a speaking class for intermediate to advanced students. Um, we're going to be watching a short video about empathy and discussing what this word actually means, what it means to you, um, and how it sort of impacts our lives, because I think this is a very human thing. Um, how does it differ from sympathy? What is the difference between sympathy and empathy? And how do you experience these things in your life? Um, so, a deep and meaningful topic, but I think it will provide a good one for some good conversation. So do come on in and join us if you'd like to. Um, before we get started, as always, I'll tell you about some pages that can help you here with the time on verbing. The first of which is my Facebook page, so have a look at the link in the chat box. Um, go ahead to Facebook just to keep in touch with the teachers and students that you meet here on Verbling informally. You can share stuff like you can on Facebook. It's a very easy and fun way to keep in touch with people and to learn a bit of extra English related thing sort of stuff during your week um, when you're not maybe attending classes or, or tutoring sessions or studying hard. Um, okay, Verbling teacher page is the second one. So go ahead to the Verbling teacher page for any of the teachers if you want to see who they are a bit more so you can find out some more details about us. Um, also, you'll see our calendars, which means that you can, um, you can book slots in any of our upcoming classes. You can see what the topics of those classes will be. You can also see our calendar if you're interested in private tutoring sessions, which is where you get to have a, a lesson just you and the teacher, one-on-one. -on -one and um, a lot of students like to do this as well as attending classes to give a bit of a broader scope to their English. Um, you, can, you can focus on anything you like in the tutoring sessions. Um, so do check out my calendar if that's something that interests you. And if you do have any questions or queries, just write me a message through the, the mess messaging feature on Verbling. Um, if you click on the blue follow button, you can also receive automatic notifications which saves you a bit of time, um, but it's a great place to go. Just go and have a look if you have some time outside of class. All right, welcome to who we've got today to talk about empathy. Let's say hello, first of all, to Amari. How are you? Hi. Hey. Nice hello. to see you back, Amari. Is stuff going hey, okay teacher. for you? Yes, I'm a fine teacher. Thank you for asking you. I'm great. Thank you, Amari. Uh, I have a question. I didn't remember where are you from. I'm from the UK. I'm from a town oh, called nice. Southampton. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah, very well, nice. <laughs> At the moment, it's very nice, apparently, but I'm not there. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm from the south of the UK. Okay, great. Where are you from, Amari? Remind me since we're doing this. Uh, yes, I'm from Brazil, but I, cor I am currently living in Mexico, Guadalajara. Ah. And which is better? Do you prefer living in Mexico? Careful, because there's also a Brazilian in this class. Yes, I, I, I love Mexico. Uh, Mexico, uh, this country is very cheaper for me, so I can buy a new car, new house or something like that very, very quickly in a short time. Uh, mm -hmm. But in, in my country, Brazil, it's, uh, it's more expensive than Mexico. So... I don't know. I, I I I don't know how can I explain to you, um, but I, I love Mexico. I, I think that culture is very nice to me. Uh, for example, that uh, the food uh, food from from Mexico has a a lot of kinds different by day by day. What do you mean by day by day, Amari? Oh, sorry. Uh, for, for example, yes, every day I can eat something different in Mexico. Yes, and in Brazil it, it, you just eat the same thing? Yes, the same thing, rice, uh, beans, uh, something, key, uh, chicken, a meal, something like that. But in Mexico um, there are a lot of uh, different kinds of food here. How long have you been living there for, Omari? Uh, I have been living in Mexico three years. Uh, mm -hmm. One year I lived in Ciudad de Mexico, 
Uh, another year I lived in the north of Mexico, Monterrey, and right mm -hmm. now in the center of Mexico, Guadalajara. And is that the best place, or do you have e a different e opinion? Oh yes, Guadalajara is the best place. We, in my opinion, uh, it's more important in Mexico than Ciudad de Mexico or Monterrey. Interesting. I'm learning a lot. Thank you, Mary, for sharing all that with us. Okay. Thank Welcome you. to the class. We'll get back to you shortly. Um, and say hi to Raphael. How are you doing, Raphael? Are you uh, still thinking about underwater diving? <laughs> no, no. <clears throat> I'm, I'm thinking other things, but let's, let's let them aside. <laughs> um, Push them aside. Focus on English, right? Yes. Teacher, are you there? I think we lost the teacher. Oh, yeah, I, I, I think, oh my gosh, my connection is dropped. But it's okay. No, no, I, her connection is, isn't really good, you know. She had some problems with her connection lately. Uh, Rafael, I, I, you are from Brazil? Yes, from Brazil. Ah, legal, cara. Faz tempo que eu não falo português. Eu acho que eu tô falando muito ruim. <laughs> eu não sei como eu tô falando. Eu não sei como eu tô falando português, mas sempre que eu encontro um brasileiro aqui em Guadalajara, os caras falam que eu tô... Eu tô mais com cara e jeito de mexicano que de brasileiro. E quando eu vou falar com as pessoas no Brasil, com a minha mãe, com o meu pai, eles falam, nossa, meu, o que que tá acontecendo com você, seu acento? Tá tudo diferente. É, seu sotaque parece um pouco diferente mesmo. Parece que tem uma diferença uhum, é... sotaque. Aham, uhum, eu acho que foi porque, não sei, pelo tempo que eu tô aqui, sempre que eu vejo meus amigos também, como que, ah, welcome, teacher. Sorry. I Hello. speak Portuguese because... I have a long time in thought in speaking Portuguese. <laughs> no problem, Mary, I understand. I'm sorry, guys. I just oh, got you understand out. Portuguese? No, no, I understand that you wanted to speak Portuguese after not speaking <laughs> for a long time. I'm a joke, I'm a joke. <laughs> um, all right, so guys, sorry, back to the topic. Um, Okay, we've got a video. It's about empathy. We're going to start off by watching this because it gives you a really good, good introduction. It's by a lady called Brene Brown who writes about all this kind of stuff, so she's kind of an expert. But I'm interested to see what your opinion is. It's quite a sort of interesting video. It's got a nice little animation. I just want you to listen, make any notes if you want to about what she says, and we're going to come back and talk about that in a moment. So if you can go and uh, click on the link there, you'll see in the chat box, and meet me back here in three minutes. Hey, welcome back, Harry. We're just watching the video. You can find the link there on the screen or in the chat box. And once you've watched it, come back and let me know, okay?
All right, guys, are we done? Is everybody ready? Yes, teacher. Cool. All right. Um, okay, so welcome, Harry. Sorry, we just started watching the video when you arrived, but you haven't missed anything. Um, so what we're going to do, guys, is one, I just want to let you know how I'm going to run this class. So I'd like you guys to talk as much as possible in order that I shut up a bit and try and help you with your English. Um, I'm going to make notes in the chat box as much as possible. Um, I'll also ask you questions to keep the conversation going. Um, but just keep one eye on the chat box so that you can see what's going on with um, good phrases or corrections or useful stuff. Um, the first thing I want to do is to ask what you thought of the video, your impression, and what you remember from it. So if you can remember anything that the lady said, I'm going to ask Amari, can you tell us what was the video actually about? What did it talk about? Uh, talked about the uh, connection with another other people. Uh, empath empathy, mm -hmm. e it's a good connection. And the, the another name, uh, oh my gosh, is against Sym uh, empathy. Yes, sympathy. sympathy. Mm -hmm. Yes, sympathy is against is disconnection uh, with other people. Uh, for example, I. I am learning English here right now, and I have a good connection with that student, my uh, my uh, my colleagues here, mm -hmm. and my teacher. I think it's a good conversation. It's a good point. It's a, a good em em empathy. Empathy. Okay. Excellent. Thanks, Amari. That's great. Um, okay, I'm going to ask you individually, just for your feedback. So, one, did you agree with her? Did she say things that you'd never thought of before, or have you have you experienced these things before? What's your general impression? Let's ask Carrie. Um, I have to find it out. I have to. It's it gave me a, an idea how I can. Yeah, I learned a lot from the video. Okay, uh, I did too. I agree completely. Can you tell me what exactly you learned? What was it that sort of struck you? Uh, I learned that I can go when I uh, maybe when I when I need help, I have to go to another person, and the other person uh, doesn't has doesn't have to respond to my how can I, to my suffer mm -hmm. to your it's suffering. Very, yeah, to my suffering. It's important that. I told it someone, mm -hmm. a person, and yeah, that's a uh, great because it, it's a connection. So, so I feel not lonely. Mm -hmm. You don't feel lonely. Yeah. All right. And a, and a third person can be a big help. Two. Okay. They can, they can see uh, the situation on uh, on another way because they they uh, maybe they they don't know me or yeah the other person don't know me and so they can give me a, a neutral comment or I mean mm -hmm. uh, they have not they they don't know me from the past, so they have a uh, very, uh, is it right, neutral? N yes, neutral? Yeah. neutral. Opinion, yeah, N neutral opinion. So. Yeah, or, or you could also say a neutral perspective, Harry. Perspective. Hmm. Um, all right, thanks. I'm um, just, before we ask Raphael, I'll just um, say hello to Shafa and Tiago. Hi, Shafa. Uh, hi. Welcome to the class. We're actually talking yeah. about a video that we just watched. So if you boys would like to go and watch the video, 
You'll find the link there. I've just posted it again into the chat box. It's only three minutes, so I suggest that you go just watch it and then come back to us. Same to you, Tiago. Hello to you as well. Hi, how are you doing? I'm great, thank you. So guys, if you could go and watch the video, and then when you're back, just type back into the chat box so that I know you're back, okay? Okay, thank you. All right, I go see there you in and come back. Okay. Um, okay, so Raphael, tell me, what, what did you think of the video? What did you learn from it? What do you think she was saying? Uh, she expressed uh, her vision about um, empathy, uh, taking, explaining how how we can be effective with others, how, how we can help others just by our presence, you know, and when we when we don't have anywhere else to anything else to to help, but it's a kind of common, uh, it's a common, it's a kind of human sense, uh, feel comfortable just by the presence of others surrounding us. Uh, when we are facing something, some problem, some difficulty, and we find on a friend to which can help us, not directly but indirectly, just uh, uh, just with some words, just saying I I am here for you, I'm I'm here to help you, even even he he, he or she. Can uh, can do anything else? Just saying this. Uh, yeah. Whoops, Tiago, watch what you're doing. Okay, Raphael, can you unmute yourself again, please? Sorry, Tiago accidentally muted you. Uh, well, generally, I think it's as she told. Uh, sometimes we. Just by our present, we can issue, uh, how can I say, issue good waves of, of love and, and help. Uh, people might feel comfortable just by our present. And it's, help to, it's helpful to, to get by some difficult situations. Absolutely. Thank you, Raphael. That's really clearly explained. So I think for me, what she was really saying is that there's a difference between empathy and sympathy. And that empathy is is feeling the same. Is is what she how she put it was feeling with others, like being there with them, not necessarily doing anything um, because you may not be able to, but just showing them that you care simply by connecting with them. And sympathy is is sometimes extremely well meant. I mean, people want to be there, but they end up sort of taking the focus off you and, and maybe even making you feel worse by saying things that aren't very helpful. So I'm just wondering if you guys actually agree with this or not. Have you had an experience where you felt, oh, um, somebody's really not making me feel better? Or the opposite. Have you? Do you have a friend who's amazingly good at at being empathetic when you're having a bad time? So I'll ask Amari first of all. What's your experience of this, Amari? <laughs> Sorry, Chichi, about this what? <laughs> um, I just wanted to know. Um, after watching the video and thinking over some experiences in your own life. Do you can you relate to what she was saying? Do you have some friends who are very very good at being empathetic, and some who are not very good at it? Can you relate to the experience of this? Ah, okay. Uh, uh, for for example, in Mexico, I think I think uh, our people are kindly here, mm -hmm. and uh, I. I get a good connection with a lot of people, maybe because I am a, from another country, I don't know, but uh, um, 
it's different that culture. Uh, and in my in my job, in my job, it's amazing because my boss talks to me every day uh, about my task, about my my life, about a lot of things, and he uh, he uh, give, give, gives uh, new ideas about my st my career, my job, my task, uh, and I have a, a good feedback. Uh, from my my boss, so I, I think I I have a good connection with a lot of people in Mexico. Um, just a, a one person, I don't have a, a good uh, empathy. Uh, is my ex neighbor neighbor uh, mm -hmm. because my my dog uh, doesn't like hair and. Mm -hmm. uh, Barking all time when uh, see this person. So uh, this person was complaining one time, and uh, I told him, "Sorry, this is my house. I can't stop my dog here. Uh, this is my space. Um, if you have a problem, you need to call someone else. I don't know what you do." But mm -hmm. uh, this is my house. Sorry, I can't do do nothing for help you right now. Just a, a person. <laughs> it's okay. I think it's normal. But uh, right now I have a, a good neighbor uh, because uh, I get a new house and uh, my neighbor it's very very kindly with me and they give me a lot of uh, help when when I draw my my house or something like that. Um, yes, uh, I, I have a lot of good experience here. All right, great. That's good to hear. Thank you, Amari. Um, Thank you. Okay, Harry, tell us about your experience with empathy and sympathy. Are you good at being empathetic when people in your life have problems? Do you know what to say to them? Or do you feel uncomfortable and uh, never quite sure how to help? Um, my experience is when I uh, feel worry or when I feel sadness. You can tell I'm me sad. whatever you like, either way. Yeah, and I made a, a very uh, special experiment because I called someone as my father got a heart attack. And I was really confused. I was really, uh, I couldn't do, I was really, how can I, in panic. I, I was panic. Mm -hmm. You were panicking. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I made a call to a person. And before I made the call, I I thought she, she when I call her, she, maybe she will T tell me much about heart attacks, much much stuff about this uh, this kind of illness, sickness, and I called her, and mm -hmm. <laughs> it was different because she said to me, "Let it uh, let it happen. It's it's it is happen right now. You can't uh, you can't change." the situation right now and at this moment I, I it made in my mind it said oh yes that's right why I why I'm so sad about it and mm -hmm. then I changed what what does my father like and I I thought oh he likes music Oh, it's a good idea to listen to this kind of music which he liked and I did it. And mm -hmm. at this moment I had a connection to my father which was in the hospital. And I was so happy because I I was listening to his famous music and I knew oh he 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 does it at the, at the hospital. He will I will see him again and yeah, and that gave me the power, and so I I get the connection 
from the person I called and mm -hmm. I kept it and yeah it was yeah. a yeah, it was great for me. It was really great, a very new experience. So when I, when people, when I meet people and they speak about their illness and sickness, I try to to change the topic. Mm -hmm. To put their attention onto something else or to see it differently, maybe. You know, because I noticed, I noticed that helped me so much. Yeah, it's Harry, thank you. It's better to do, to to do not continue in the topic which the people are sad inside of the topic. I have to bring them out of this sad topic to bring mm -hmm. them out. Okay. Um, I think that was such a great example because it's almost exactly what the what um, Brene was talking about on the video, right? All she said is that simply connection is the most important thing. It's not actually what you say. Um, and I think that's the perfect example because that's what this lady who you rang did for you, Harry, and it obviously helped you load. So thank you for sharing that with us. Um, okay, I'm going to ask Shafar, have you watched the video? Uh, yes, I have. Did you understand it, what it was going on about? Uh, of course, I understand uh, what's uh, going about uh, in this video is uh, connected and disconnected. Uh, one uh, person who is not, uh, doesn't care a lot about a uh, person's uh, problem mm -hmm. and no uh, others uh, very care about and I think uh, this uh, uh, this uh, who is uh, more care is uh, trying to imitate the situation of these uh, problems uh, uh, has. Yeah. yeah, thank you. And and I think you've been following our discussion about um, this idea of connection and how it helps people when they're going through difficult times. Let's ask Tiago. What was your response to the video, Tiago? Hi. Uh, first of all, I... I I like to sorry about the uh, the video that I, I muted because no. I, I was what the the video and uh, I just like to concentrate in the video and uh, I, I I didn't know how works this feature actually so sorry about this. No problem. And, no and so about the video, I think that uh, it's a cool video that about this this. Uh, uh, to to make clear the difference between sympathy and empathy, and mm -hmm. I, I think that it's become clear for me, and it's a it's a good point. And about this video, I I, I remember some is examples that, for example, about prof prof uh, professionals. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I think that, that there are some professionals that are uh, have sympathy, for example, the salesmen that, that are in, in stores and want to sell something for, for a client, for the mm -hmm. customer. And they try to be um, as much uh, as sympathy uh, as possible. Mm -hmm. uh, to as sympathetic, to, as sympathetic. As sympathetic. Yeah, a sympathetic. Okay, sympathetic. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, to to convince the client to 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 buy some product. Uh, yeah, uh, these are these are example that uh, I remember. But on the other hand, I remember, for example, a professor, a teacher, that it's like a for in my opinion, for a good t teacher, uh, for example, in the elementary school. The the uh, elementary school for kids uh, in general they they try to be empathetic to to understand what the the kids are are, are feeling what the what are the the limitations and and how to to help 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 uh, help out the 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 kids to learn so I think that in the in another profession the the people are, are more empathetic. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's the, uh, 
the uh, example uh, related to the view that I uh, had in, in my mind that uh, yeah, it's basically this. Yeah, that's great, Tiago. Thank you. Because I'm I was going to actually come to that in a moment because I think this is a this is an important skill, if you can call it a skill. I think some people get are naturally more empathetic than others, but there are certain professions where this is a good thing to be able to do. Um, but we're going to come on to that in a moment. Um, I want to ask Raphael just one more thing about the video before we move on. Um, it was animated, and I believe that the animation was was set sort of after the actual spoken part was done. Um, what did you think of the animation? It struck me as quite meaningful. I don't know what you... Did you notice what was going on in the video? What was happening? Oh, in the video... Uh... Uh... So, I, I think... Uh, I actually, uh, I think that uh, I didn't understand... Uh, uh, everything that you said because the the the, the quality of the the the, the, the video will become 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 low during you you were talking but I think that what you mean is that I I if I, I really understand what the animation means like or uh, is it is that your question? Yes it is Tiago. I will yeah that's exactly right. Okay. Uh, so I, I think that uh, about the animation, it's basically that have a the the the, the character that's a fox, and character. fox mm -hmm. right? Yep. Character of fox, and yeah, and has have some problems. And uh, first of all, that uh, there is another character that that didn't help at all. About uh, like don't don't give in good good advice and the this character go go to like a hole like a cave and uh, looking for isolation and 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 then uh, show up another character that's a bear and and try to be empathetic with with the the, the fox and and. Uh, in the background, there is a woman that is making the narration of the hi the history. It seems this sounds for me like uh, that this the, this woman was in a uh, a talking like a TEDx talking something like this. Yeah, but, yeah, was you can find the full talk on TEDx actually or TED Talks if you look it up. I'll type in the um, yeah. You might want to look that up after class, Tiago. But well noted. Oh, yeah. So yeah, and the the in the in, in his turn, the the bear become uh, emphatic and and like uh, become like to understand the the feelings, the fox feelings, and uh, how can I explain? Like be uh, try to be in the same place, like understand what he uh, really. The fox is feeling and and being this, this, the in the, the same place. And mm -hmm. on the other hand, the 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 another character that I don't remember exactly which animal is, but mm -hmm. uh, try try to just say sing a little uh, sympathetic sympathetic, like mm -hmm. just to say something like. Uh, uh, try to see uh, a good uh, a good uh, a good side of the problems, mm -hmm. uh, but not uh, uh, like not 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 trying to help at all. Just to to say some some uh, some things that don't have any meaning at all. Just to try to to make the 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 fox feel uh, 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 a little better, but actually just to distract the fox of the problems. Don't don't yeah, just to to make something uh, uh, fun or 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 
yeah, the the this chart, this chart to try to to go in this way. Uh, Absolutely, that's that's really a good description, Tiago. Thank you. Um, I found personally, I found the animation very helpful because it's it's almost like you can visualize what the lady's talking about. I think it's actually quite a difficult concept to get your head around. Um, although I personally, I'm generally quite an empathetic person naturally. Um, so I'm going to ask some other students what they are like. Um, Raphael, tell me, are you naturally empathetic? Do you find it easy to be with other people in situations where they're feeling a bit low, or do you find it slightly awkward? I'm definitely... Uh, how can I say... It's, fun to, it's hard to find the right adjective. But I'm awful at dealing with <laughs> intimacy with other people. I don't know how to handle situations in which I have to to share uh, feelings, you know, with with them. Mm -hmm. uh, I I know that I I know what is right to do. What I don't know. Uh, it's easy to, to understand what uh, the feeling of the person, you know. It's easy to understand uh, how they might be f might feel by the, by them. But uh, it's hard to sometimes it's hard to find the right the right words to say. Mm -hmm. And even when we don't have to say nothing, we don't have to say anything to help. Mm -hmm. But it's fine. It's fine to. It's hard to find uh, to know exactly how to act, how to behave in situation. Uh, I don't know. It, I think it's of. It's a uh, one of the thousand flaw. One of the thousands of thousands of flaws I have. <laughs> but, uh, it's. I. I'm, I'm trying to to change this status. I'm trying to change this behavior, but it's not easy. Absolutely. I think it's I can easy. help some people. I think I think I can help some people in some way, but mm -hmm. it's not easy, though. I, I agree with you there, Raphael. I think this is really difficult. Um, I think most of us have the feeling that we want to be there and help other people, but it's actually difficult to know how to behave, exactly as you said. And... Um, I think maybe one of the problems is that in general not many people in humanity particularly know how to deal with this. I think maybe it would be probably better for a lot of people if we actually tried to study this a bit more or even, you know, learn this at school or something to be really out there and crazy. Um, I'm going to say, just ask Shafar. Shafar, are you, how do you deal with these situations? If a friend comes to you and something's gone really bad in their life, how do you handle it? What do you do? What do you say? Uh, yeah, it's sometimes uh, I feel as competitive for a friend who's coming out to low, uh, low nation. Uh, I mean, uh, when they when they are coming to our life and uh, they say that I am feeling love, it's very hard to. Uh, deal with this uh, kind of people because we need to copy right the uh, the the feelings uh, what the feel uh, what they are feelings mm -hmm. so maybe in my opinion uh, it's simple to be have um, to not people uh, just uh, feeling low and try to I uh, try to uh, uh, don't don't uh, speaking to them uh, because uh, they are they are uh, they are want to uh, some people hear them. Uh, okay, uh, we need to keep calm and uh, ask for what uh, the what are their problems. I think uh, when this uh, uh, when this point comes out, uh, uh, these people will. Uh, share you uh, many things about uh, their problem. Uh, they they will if uh, they they will want uh, they will want uh, suggestion from you 
and mm-hmm. this is a point where you uh, where this uh, empathy will uh, works out and empathy will out and uh, you need to uh, suggest him and what uh, how to figure out the um, uh, I think after this or maybe uh, in other story uh, we can also break their feeling uh, mm-hmm. so they will feel uh, good again uh, by uh, by um, change or switch the situation or maybe you can uh, ask them to uh, join uh, a fun activity or like that and I think uh, uh, they will uh, they will feel uh, good and uh, then you just uh, care about him Thank you, Shafar. That's a really good point. Um, some good tips there as well. Um, hello to Kako. Kako, we've been talking about a video. Um, so if you want to, if you want to go and watch it, it's only three minutes. You've got still time, and then come back and join us with the discussion. You'll see the link in the chat box. Okay, teacher. Thank you. All right. Um, okay. So going back to what I think it was Tiago said. Uh, not long ago. He was mentioning that there's certain professions where empathy is important. Um, And he mentioned two, um, selling stuff, although he did mention sympathy there, and I don't know whether he would distinctly make the distinction between sympathy and empathy, um, and a teacher. So I want to ask, let's see what Amari thinks. Amari, are there certain professions that you believe require people to be empathetic? Uh, in my job? Well, in can you think of any jobs? I mean, do you think there are certain jobs where people should be empathetic all the time, maybe, or now and again? Uh, oh, yes. For example, in, in my job, uh, all, all people are uh, in, in, in empathy. Empathy? Mm-hmm. Uh, empathetic. empathetic is the adjective. Empathy, empathy is the noun. Okay, empathetic. Uh, all time because the uh, how can I say rule or uh, I think it, it, it is a rule that word a rule in that job for example you need to be flexible to uh, hear uh, each other in that company you need to help uh, if that problem is not yours you you need to help it uh, the, does it matter uh, what are you doing about it? But uh, the company are very flexible. For for example, uh, if I needed to take off uh, the, uh, that company by two days or three days or get a travel uh, to another country uh, and to work there, uh, my boss or someone it's agree with me because. Okay, I'm flexible. I help you if you need some information. A lot of people there is empathic. Empathic. It's okay, my pronunciation. Empathetic. It's difficult for me. Empathetic. Yes. Empathetic. Empathetic. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, in my opinion, I, I I think it's a great company. I'm really glad to hear that, Amari. That's great news. Um. <laughs> I'm glad that you have such good people to work with because it's not always the case. Um, let's ask Harry. Harry, do you think there are certain jobs where empathy is important or certain jobs where it's important not to be too empathetic, maybe? Well, I think each jo- I have to be empathetic in each job mm-hmm. because pe- I want that people feel confident when I work with them, when... Yeah, and it's. I think it's every day. Every day, I. Yeah, I can use it when I go to the doctor. Mm-hmm. It's great to make no judgment about him because he t- he looks at me and he can t- tell me my the result which he mm-hmm. found, mm-hmm. and I can and I can accept accept it, or I. I can avoid his 
or ideas disagree, but mm -hmm. but it's very important that that I don't um, disconnect with the doctor, for example, mm -hmm. because it he helped me because I I I recognized in my body or in in yeah that's something wrong, and I did the step to go to a doctor. And that was for me very important. So I get only a result from the doctor. What I can do, it's an idea. It's an idea from him. And I can use it. Or maybe I can choose another pe a person and ask for another question. So, for, yeah, when I, when I feel empathetic, I, I'm, I, uh, it's easily for me to go to another person and ask for help. Yeah, Absolutely. For me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for me. All right. It's interesting how people have different reactions or have different sensibilities with regard to this emotion. Um, I'm going to ask Tiago. Tiago, are you good at telling or sensing when somebody in your life, a friend or family member or maybe somebody at work, is in a bad mood or sad? Are you able to tell without them saying anything? Can you sense that type of thing easily or not? Uh, so, I think that for me it's not so easy to, to do it. Uh, what do you mean it's like to, to help the people, the, someone that uh, I know when is in a bad mood or bad situation, right? Yes, but more than that, what I really want to know is, for example, um, have you got a girlfriend or a wife or somebody you're close to? Uh, Not at the moment. Uh, Brother, sister, best friend? Oh yeah. yeah? yeah. Okay, so if they think of one of those people, and if they are upset or in a bad mood, cross, angry, um, depressed, can you sense that? Can you tell that they are not having a good day just by being around them? Or do they have to say, Tiago, I am in a bad mood for you to realize? Oh, oh I see. You see what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I see, I see. Uh, I think that depends. Depends like uh, I think that uh, depends of the the person. And I think that for some persons is easily to 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 notice this, like to to see when when this person is in a, a bad mood or bad situation and and act. It's it's like. Uh, uh, with 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 the time, uh, I th I think that in general, I like for uh, with some some close friend friends or brothers. I I think that in general it's easier to to see when the the person is worried about something or or it's in a, a bad mood or uh, upset, and I I think that becomes easier to to see. Uh, but I think uh, it's uh, in general uh, my experience that women it's sometimes hard to to <laughs> to, 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 to understand uh, the uh, their moods. Uh, but it, it's not uh, it's, it, it, I I'm not a gen want to generalize gen mm -hmm. make uh, you 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 understand like it's or not. <laughs> Sorry, that both, was a very good joke. I, 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 don't, I don't want to, to do both. <laughs> but... <laughs> you don't want to do either. Either, you don't yeah, want to do either. either. Yeah. <laughs> That's a yeah. very good point you bring up though, Tiago. Um, <laughs> the difference, and I'm in a class full of boys, so I have no girls on my side. Oh, um, <laughs> but... <laughs> So I'll try and battle against you. Shafar, what do you think? A girl's difficult to work out. Can you tell if something's wrong with a woman in your life, your girlfriend, your sister, your mother? Do you find it hard to deal with? Are you there, Shafar? 
Okay, uh, not really. Uh, I think uh, it's not too hard uh, because I think uh, a man and a woman is uh, there's a connection between them. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't really know this person actually. All right, so you find it you find it okay. It doesn't really make any difference if the person is female or male. You still find it easy to to feel or to notice what's going on with them in their lives. Is that right? Uh, yes, of course. All right, that's a very um kind of optimistic and nice viewpoint. Thank you for sharing that, Shafar. I love the sound of that. Um, let's ask Raphael. Are women way harder to work out for you, Raphael, than guys, or is it does it not make any difference? Does make all difference in the world. <laughs> Sometimes it's impossible to understand women what they are thinking, what they are undergoing, and you are there for help, and they don't want help. But if you mm -hmm. let them go. They they will complain because well why did why were you were not there to help me mm -hmm. sometimes I understand you know women bad with them worse without them. For <laughs> you, you make me laugh. Okay, so let me give you a woman's perspective. Um, Yes, I can understand how we can be extremely confusing for men, but I think that this video actually gives you quite a big insight into how what we're really looking for, because when we're complaining or upset about something and we go to our boyfriend, father, brother, whatever, I think the natural reaction of a male is to try and think of some way of fixing the problem. However, girls generally aren't even looking for a solution. In, in some cases there isn't one or they don't care about that. They mainly care about just telling someone and having you go, wow, that sounds terrible, you poor thing. Well, I'm here for you. It's almost like this, this video is, is sort of showing all we're looking for is someone to connect with us and say we're there for you if you need it. Um, so maybe that could be a tip for you boys. Don't worry about trying to always find a solution. I mean the solution, yes, it would be great and it can come afterwards, but at that moment when we're upset, sometimes all we need is just someone to say, yeah, that sucks, I agree. And it makes us feel a whole lot better. Um, I don't know, that's just my perspective. I can't speak for all the girls in the world. Um, since Karko hasn't spoken to us yet this lesson, I'll ask him. Karko, we've only got two minutes left, but what did you think of the video? Did you watch it? I like the video, teacher. Mm -hmm. And what, what did so you it, think? Why did you like was, it? It was very interesting, um, the difference between empathy and sympathy. Mm. When sympathy is like give a I smile and say, um, you will be better, I, I am uh, in favor of you. Mm -hmm. Empathy is, mo is, is more, pro more, more, pro more profound. Um, empathy is to establish a connection with another person mm -hmm. and like the uh, as the video uh, may uh, make clear made clear mm -hmm. made clear is feeling like another person and establish uh, and and feeling uh, feeling like the odd, another person and to communicate with 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 they mm -hmm. uh, with them mm -hmm. um, is not only a conversation uh, a positive conversation but something as profound as our our feelings our our heart is share is sharing yeah. our hearts. Thank you, uh, Kaka. Mm -hmm. Establish a, a 
a confident, a confident uh, fiduciary relationship with another person, um, trusting uh, relationship, so the other the other person can can be up. Absolutely. Um, well, guys, I'm really glad that you enjoyed the video. I certainly found it quite helpful and also quite profound. Just you, as you said, Carco, it seems like um, there. Are, well, I never really thought about the distinction between those two words, but it makes it very clear in the video. And I have to say that um, since I watched this a while ago now, I've thought about it quite a bit, and and it has come up in my life where I've had the chance to react to someone in a bad place, and I've. I, this video has sort of come to mind, so maybe it's helped. Um, anyway, despite the fact that we talked about empathy this lesson and whether you got any from, anything from that, um, it's beside the point. You did great with your English speaking, guys. Um, so well done, all of you. That was a difficult topic to try and speak about in another language, so great English. Don't forget to check out the chat box for any corrections or great phrases. Um, and have a great evening. I will see you all soon, I hope. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Bye, guys. Thank you, Thank you. Bye, Bye. 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 Bye.
time. <laughs> I'm a joke. I'm a joke. <laughs> um, all right, so guys, sorry, back to the topic. Um, okay, we've got a video. It's about empathy. We're going to start off by watching this because it gives you a really good, good introduction. It's by a lady called Brene Brown who writes about all this kind of stuff, so she's kind of an expert. But I'm interested to see what your opinion is. It's quite a sort of interesting video. It's got a nice little animation. I just want you to listen, make any notes if you want to about what she says, and we're going to come back and talk about that in a moment. So if you can go and click on the link there, you'll see in the chat box, and meet me back here in three minutes. Hey, well, Let's see if the mic's cool. So I don't know. I I I I don't know how can I explain to you. Um, but I, I love Mexico. I, I think that good culture is very mm -hmm. nice to me. Uh, for example, that uh, the food uh, food from from Mexico has a lo uh, lot of kinds different by day by day. What do you mean by day by day, Amari? Oh, sorry. Uh, for, for example, yes, every day I can eat something different in Mexico. Yes, and in Brazil it, it, you just eat the same thing? Yes, the same thing. Rice, uh, beans, uh, something, key, uh, chicken, a meal, something like that. But in Mexico, um, there are a lot of uh, different kinds of food here. Mm -hmm. How long have you been living there for, Omari? Uh, I have been living in Mexico three years. Uh, mm -hmm. One year I lived in Ciudad de Mexico. Uh, another year I lived in the north of Mexico, Monterrey. And right mm -hmm. now in the center of Mexico, Guadalajara. And is that the best place? Or do you have e a different e opinion? Oh yes, Guadalajara is the best place we, in my opinion. Uh, it's more important in Mexico than Ciudad de Mexico or Monterrey. Interesting. I'm learning a lot. Thank you, Mary, for sharing all that with us. Okay. Thank Welcome you. to the class. We'll get back to you shortly. Um, and say hi to Rafael. How are you doing, Rafael? Are you uh, still thinking about underwater diving? <laughs> no, no, <clears throat> I'm I'm thinking other things, but let's let's let them aside. <laughs> um, Push them aside. Focus on English, right? Yes. Teacher, are you there? I think we lost the teacher. Oh, yeah, I, I, I think, oh my gosh, my connection is dropped, but it's okay. No, no, I, her connection is, isn't really good, you know. She had some problems with her connection lately. Uh, Rafael, you are from Brazil? Yes. Ah, legal, cara. Faz tempo que eu não falo português. Eu acho que eu tô falando muito ruim. Eu não sei como eu tô falando. 
Eu não sei como eu tô falando <risos> português, mas sempre que eu encontro um brasileiro aqui em Guadalajara, os caras falam que eu tô... Eu tô mais com cara e jeito de mexicano que de brasileiro. E quando eu vou falar com as pessoas no Brasil, com a minha mãe, com o meu pai, eles falam, nossa, meu, o que que tá acontecendo com você, seu acento? Tá tudo diferente. É, seu sotaque é, parece um pouco diferente mesmo. Parece que tem uma uhum, diferença é... no sotaque. Uhum, eu acho que foi porque, não sei, pelo tempo que eu tô aqui, sempre que eu vejo meus amigos também, como que, ah, welcome teacher, sir. I Hello. speak português because... I have a long time without speaking Portuguese. <laughs> no problem, Mary, I understand. I'm sorry, guys. I just oh, got you understand out. Portuguese? No, no, I understand that you want to speak Portuguese after not speaking <laughs> Where you get to have a, a lesson, just you and the teacher, one on one. And um, a lot of students like to do this as well as attending classes to give a bit of a broader scope to their English. Um, you, can, you can focus on anything you like in the tutoring sessions. Um, so do check out my calendar if that's something that interests you. And if you do have any questions or queries, just write me a message through the, the mess messaging feature on Verbling. Um, if you click on the blue follow button, you can also receive automatic notifications, which saves you a bit of time. Um, but it's a great place to go. Just go and have a look if you have some time outside of class. All right. Welcome to who we've got today to talk about empathy. Let's say hello first of all to Amari. Um, How are you? Hi. Nice hello. to see you back, Amari. Is stuff going hey, okay teacher. for you? Yes, I'm a fine teacher. Thank you for asking you. I'm great, thank you, Amari. Uh -huh. I have a question. I didn't remember where are you from? I'm from the UK. I'm from a town oh, called nice. Southampton. Oh nice, uh, yeah, very nice. Southampton. <laughs> At the moment, it's very nice, apparently, but I'm not there. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm from the south of the UK. Okay, great. Where are you from, Amari? Remind me, since we're doing this. Uh, yes, I'm from Brazil, but I, cor I am currently living in Mexico, Guadalajara. Ah, and which is better? Do you prefer living in Mexico? Careful, because there's also a Brazilian in this class. Yes, I, I, I love Mexico. Uh, Mexico, uh, this country is very cheaper for me, so I can buy a new car, new house or something like that very, very quickly, in a short time. Uh, mm -hmm. But in, in my country, Brazil, it's, uh, it's more expensive. Okay, we are live. Hi everybody, welcome to this verbling class today with me, I'm teacher Amy. And today's subject is, let's talk about empathy. Um, this is a speaking class for intermediate to advanced students. Um, we're going to be watching a short video about empathy and discussing what this word actually means, what it means to you, um, and how it sort of impacts our lives, because I think this is a very human thing. Um, how does it differ from sympathy? What is the difference between sympathy and empathy? And how do you experience these things in your life? Um, so, a deep and meaningful topic, but I think it will provide a good one for some good conversation. So do come on in and join us if you'd like to. Um, before we get started, as always, I'll tell you about some pages that can help you here with your time on verbing. The first of which is my Facebook page, so have a look at the link in the chat box. Um, go ahead to Facebook just to keep in touch with the teachers and students that you meet here on Verbling informally. You can share stuff like you can on Facebook. It's a very easy and fun way to keep in touch with people and to learn a bit of extra English-related thing sort of stuff during your week um, when you're not maybe attending classes or, or tutoring sessions or studying hard. Um, okay, Verbling teacher page is the second one. So go ahead to the Verbling teacher page for any of the teachers if you want to see who they are a bit more so you can find out some more details about us. Um, also, you'll see our calendars, which means that you can, um, you can book slots in any of our upcoming classes. You can see what the topics of those classes will be. You can also see our calendar if you're interested in private tutoring sessions, which is